Okay, we're coming up now to Dylan's writing shed. This is where he wrote most of his later poems. It's very cosy in there, isn't it? There's a lovely little fire there. You can see one of the empty bottles in the window. And you can see the beautiful views that are through the windows. It's a very inspirational spot, isn't it? Well, if you look, it's going out on the estuary over to Sir John's Hill, where we'll be going later. And I'd like to take you now in his footsteps. OK. Now we're going on the route Bob set up as Dylan's birthday walk, a walk that Dylan Thomas describes taking on his 30th birthday in Poem in October. The information boards along the way give you extracts from the poem and tell you a bit about Dylan's life. He begins down on the harbour with the Mussel Pool and Heron Priestage Shore. And I found an old photograph back in 1850 of how this harbour looked at that time. That's well, amazing, the difference, it's isn't it? Amazing how much it's silted since that over 100 years. It's full of reeds now. Yeah. The photograph is of Dylan when he was in his 18 to 20 years old, because the poem tends to talk about getting older and your mortality. So as we walk along, you'll see how he ages, his photographs of how he ages along the panels. Like we all do. Like we all do. Even you, Derek. <laughs> It was my 30th year to heaven, woke to my hearing from harbour and neighbourhood, and the mussel pooled and the heron priested shore. The morning beckon with water praying and call of seagull and rook, and the knock of sailing boats on the net webbed wall, myself to set foot that second in the still sleeping town and set forth. It's the second section of the poem. As you can see, it's placed opposite the castle because it refers in the text, and the castle as brown as owls. And there it is, straight in front of you. Pale rain over the dwindling harbour and over the sea-wet church the size of a snail with its horns through mist and the castle brown as owls. Yeah, we're coming now to the shoulder of the hill and the third panel. There's this text about the boathouse. But you can see, Dylan, how he's altered as he's getting older. Yeah, he's changed quite a bit compared to the other mm -hmm. photograph we well, saw he was, earlier. Well, he was in his 20s then. This is probably taken in, oh, I would say, 1949, 50s. So he's nearer 40 there. It was my 30th year to heaven, stood there then in the summer noon, where the town below lay leaved with October blood. Oh, may my heart's truth still be sung on this high hill in a year's turning. And what he's on about is, I hope to God I'm still going to be alive and kicking in a year's time. It's a fundamental feeling for all of us, getting older. And that's what they're saying there. There's something about saying the words out loud. It's almost a spiritual feeling, hoping you're going to still be alive in a year's turning. And that's what I'm hoping to achieve with these panels. It's called the Birthday Walk, and if you come here on your birthday, do the walk and recite a verse of the poem out loud, Bob says he's arranged a bag of chips and a free drink at some local hostelries. Now there's an offer you can't refuse. The last leg of our walk takes us over St John's Hill, and with such fabulous views in every direction, even I could be moved to pen a few lines up here. Well, walking in Dylan Thomas's footsteps really does bring his poetry to life. I now have a better understanding of his work and the place that inspired him. I'm definitely going to come back on my birthday, do the walk again, and also claim my free pint and a bag of chips. Oh, yeah.